purple. Also, it's long sleeve and it's really, really hot in my house. So, oh, summer is upon us. Let's roll the intro. If I have an intro, I'm not sure if I have an intro, but if, if I do, it'll be here. Hello everyone, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today I thought we'd do a good old fashioned all fashion, old fashion video, which is the typical, what is that called? TBR. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't filmed in a while? I'm sorry. And then also my books are just falling and everything is crazy, but you know, we're good. Everything's good. Basically, I have only read 14 books this year and I basically have 14 books here that I want to read. So, um, starting off, with with anything i just i just want to preface this by saying i'm probably not going to read all of these books but these are the books that are in the list they're in the running for me to actually read them i also have a nice little jar here and i know we don't support this anymore but my jar broke and it fits the over 110 books that I have on my Kindle. So I want to get my Kindle reading list down because if you don't know, I consider myself a book collector and not necessarily like, I consider myself a book reader. I of course read books, but I like reading books in ebook format. And then from there, I like getting them in physical if I like them only, usually because um, Kindle books are much cheaper and also I like the, the I like the experience of reading in my Kindle basically like, why am I explaining this I'll make a whole video about it if you want but I have noticed that because of all the wonderful deals that they do in the Kindle store I have acquired quite a few books and I want to get through them and see if I like them First of all, I want to get to the fact that there are some books here that I've already started but that I haven't finished. I'm going to start with The Marrow Thieves by um, Cherry, Cherry de Maline. I'm, not, I'm sorry if that's not the name. This book is really short and technically I could finish it in a day but I will be honest and say that I wasn't really enjoying this. But I really don't think I gave it a fair chance, so I want to try to finish this in the month of... What month are we in? July. In the month of July. It's a really quick book, and I think that if I... I'm already 50 pages in, so I have 150 pages left. Which used to be the amount that I would read normally before bed. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> so... This is the first book that is going on the TBR list. Oh, I didn't even tell you what this book is about. <laughs> I'm out of practice. This book is about a world where people stop dreaming and the only people that dream are a indigenous or First Nations or Native Americans. And they're basically harvested for their dreams. It sounds really good, but it's more like survival in the woods story than a sci-fi dystopian that I would want so that's why I'm having a hard time with it. Now the next book I am actually reading on my Kindle but here's the thing about this book. This book was really interesting in the beginning so much so that I was able to ignore the fact that it's written in text speak. Like, like instead of writing I see you as in I-S-E-E-Y-O-U, they would write I see you, you know, I see you. And um, I was able to ignore that for the first half of the book because it was like heavy on the sci-fi. It, it, it had to do with found family, had to do with kids being in space. Satellite by Nick Lake, you're seeing it now. Um, it's written in text speak and yet I was able to get through the first 35% of the book and then something happens that changes the book and I'm like what is even the point of me reading this book at this time like I I didn't get it I don't get it I just don't I don't know I'm not having a good time with it and so that's on my Kindle so that's gonna count as one of my Kindle books I'm gonna try to get four Kindle books read this month but then I also have one two three four five six seven eight books uh, nine <coughs> nine if you include this one so 
this isn't gonna happen but you know they're in the list the next one that i want to read is nowhere on earth by nick lake also did i say nick clark before i'm not sure i'm sorry but this is also by nick lake and honestly i like his style of sci-fi and this one is not written in text speak this is about a boy that a little girl finds in the forest and you quickly realize that this boy oh this is a nice thumbnail you quickly realize that this boy is not from earth and she has to help him get back to his planet or something so it sounds very et also the cover is really pretty and this was this was nine euros i can't believe like this beautiful library like edition book was nine euros so it's a hardback so yeah um i want to read this one this is going on the list the next two books that I want to read, I'm definitely going to read because I'm probably going to read them right after this video and you, it takes like 45 seconds to get to them. And those are the next two volumes in The Girl from the Other Side by Nagabe. And this is, um, I don't know how to say it in English because I don't know the title in English, but this is La Pequeña Forastera. And in this one we have, oh, it's just La Pequeña Forastera. It's, it's, this is just The Girl from the Other Side. So I don't know, uh, this is title number three title number four my husband got these for me and they're actually a lot cheaper in spanish than they are in english don't want, don't ask me why doesn't make any sense oh in case you were wondering what this is about i actually read the first two volumes of this last year this is about a little girl that lives in a town near the edge of the forest and every now and then they are attacked by these monsters which is this thing right here that are like just shadow monsters and these shadow monsters um if they touch you you basically become one of them and this particular monster doesn't want to turn people into being like him so he adopts this little girl but he has to be very careful that she doesn't touch him so that she doesn't get infected and become one of them and it's a really sweet story it's very dark it's very it's a very dark story but i really enjoy it and again kind of matches with the vibes doesn't it so this shirt is new by the way the next book that i want to read um i've already read part of it but i think i mentioned this before in um i think in a haul and it was um the martians regress by j.o morgan and this is science fiction poetry i've read some of these and i would like to read the rest of them maybe by the pool you know reading science fiction poetry it just seems like such a weird concept that we don't have a lot more science fiction poetry but this is just something that i really want to get to this month and i think i am because like i really need quick reads to get me back into the reading like like i i always tell my students that reading is kind of like running you have to get used to it you have to get your muscles used to it again you're you have to get your attention span used to it again and if you've been watching tiktok like i have for the last six months you know your 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 mind isn't prepared <laughs> to read a book for our long period of time <laughs> you know the next three books that i have to read are all middle grade i love middle grade and i think that this is the time to read these books the first one is ambassador by william alexander this is about a young boy named gabriel fuentes now gabriel fuentes his family is an is illegal immigrants in the united states but he somehow finds himself being the ambassador of earth to aliens so that <laughs> so, i mean that is such a great premise like uh the illegal immigrant has to be the ambassador for the other aliens you know um it's a middle grade it's a quick read i'll i have this in audio and it's only five hours long and usually i listen it to it at 2.5 so it's 2.45 hours i don't know if you've noticed a trend here i've been picking books that are easy to read nothing i'm like i'm not reading dune this month you know um just because i want to get back into the swing of things i get back into reading and enjoying myself instead of like forcing myself to read the next one i have is girl boy c by chris vick 
uh, again middle grade this is kind of life of pi but for children i don't know how that works but basically this boy was on a yacht with his family and the yacht sinks and he is able to make it out alive and then there's another girl who is from a tribe nearby and her boat i guess sinks too it's not a yacht it's a boat but it sinks too and they find themselves trying to survive in the ocean and i think that that's like such a cool story and honestly it's so hot that i feel like this is a good time to read this like i bought this in the winter and it just no i didn't i bought this last summer but for those of you that have been around for a while i had a really horrible time last summer last year has been horrible but um i just didn't read it last year and i think that now with the heat and we're getting a pool in my um apartment complex so i think this will be another cool pool read i love pool reads and the last middle grade that i have is the magnificent the magnificent the magnificent monsters of cedar street by lauren oliver i started this a while ago and i kept falling asleep reading it because i was audiobooking it and it was um during my depression state and i just couldn't do it so i'm just gonna start it over from scratch and see how it goes this is about a little girl that um her father basically is a veterinarian but he's not a veterinarian of normal animals he's a veterinarian to monsters so like he, there's a zubby which is a zombie zombie puppy and there is dragons and there's different sort of things and i don't know if there's like in the back no i thought there would be like an encyclopedia of the monsters but i i just think this book is really cool and again quick gentle lovely read so there's that another book and this is like the i have two books that are like i am scared to read them but at the same time i think that i could read them this month and that is the first is the galaxy and the ground within by becky chambers i own this in audiobook because i'm waiting for this cover in paperback to be released um i have no idea what this book is about and i really enjoy the idea that i have no idea what this book is about because i've had no idea what the other books were about and i've always loved reading them so i just think that it's a great I sometimes I think it's great. I, I actually usually don't have any idea what any of my books are about. I just know it's Becky Chambers. I just know it's part of the Wayfarer series. So I'm going to read it and I'm probably going to cry because all of her books make me cry. I still think uh, Record of a Spaceborn Few is the one that hits me most in the feels. But I am waiting to be destroyed. It's okay. Sometimes, you know, you need to destroy yourself. Be like the phoenix. Rise from the ashes. You get it. And one that I'm looking... One that I'm looking to read... If you saw my uh, mid-year check-in tag. Um, one that I'm looking to read in like a weekend. Like I'm, I'm looking for like a weekend where I can just read this book cover to cover, non-stop. And that is the midnight library by matt Haig. according to what i heard online this book is about a woman who wants to kill herself and at the stroke of midnight one night she i don't know if she does it or if she just gets transported to the midnight library the midnight library is a place where basically you get to pick up a book and see what your life would have been like if you've made a different decision a different choice at a different time and um i just think that that and i've heard i've heard that it's really uplifting and boy do i need uplifting books right now so there's that those are like the books that i'm probably going to attempt to read and now uh as i said i'm reading satellite by nate lake on my kindle and now i'm gonna take out three more books to read oh i have them right here i'm kind of nervous so let's see what we have articulated restraint i have no idea what this book is about i saw the cover and i thought it was sci-fi-ish and i i bought it so i know nothing here's here it is 
if you know anything about this book or any of these books let me know just don't spoil anything please the next one is the new moon's arm again why do i buy books and have no idea what they are oh okay oh yes i'm actually excited about this one this one is the secret world of sleep and i know what this one is about it's um it's funny because i i made i don't know if you can see that if it'll focus focus well, it's not focusing, but basically I made these so that um, the ones in italics are ones that I am not so excited about, but I will still be willing to read. And then the ones that are bold are the ones that I'm excited about. But anyway, The Secret World of Sleep is about, it's a nonfiction and it just explains from a neurologist perspective why we sleep, how we sleep, and a lot of sleeping disorders. Now, I don't know if you know, I think I've mentioned it in a couple of videos, but I have a really severe sleeping disorder. I ba I'm basically in like medical journals. <laughs> it's nothing crazy, like I sleep, and I sleep pretty well most nights, but I have a like a thing with um, sleep paralysis. And if you've seen um, The Haunting of Hill House by, uh, from Netflix, uh, and you remember Nell, from that show I have something that is comparable to her and the hang lady basically I get a lot of sleep paralysis I get sleep paralysis up to 10 times in a single night sometimes I think the maximum I've had is like 15 times and it doesn't even matter if I'm sleeping on my back or if I'm sleeping on my side I just get sleep paralysis so I've always been interested in the world of sleep because I had a lot of sleep studies done on me to figure out what was wrong in the end by the way if you must know nobody knows what What's wrong it, it's just tied to my anxiety um, that's what doctor said and then uh, overall I have it pretty controlled and I know when I'm in the sleep paralysis mode but I just but I just think this book is fascinating and I can't wait to read a nonfiction I haven't read a nonfiction all year so that's it those are the one two okay so that's two I'm reading two that are not here then Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen books. That's that's as much as I've already read this entire year. That's why I'm saying this take this with a grain of salt. It's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna do my best to read at least two or three books, but these are just kind of the ones that I'm gonna focus on. I don't know if I'm gonna roll them over and just keep focusing on these books, but we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. Um, I just wanted to make a little TBR because I haven't made a TBR in a while and I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> so anyway, that's it, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it and honestly, I am so glad to be back. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I know that I'm a little bit out of it filming wise because I haven't filmed in such a long time and it's so weird to just sit here and talk to my camera it's it's the weirdest thing I can't believe that I used to do this all the time but anyway thank you so much for watching and remember I will try to continue to post videos three times a week and I will see you in another galaxy far far away bye I still feel weird saying bye Weird. Bye. <laughs>